What's going on guys? Taz here and welcome back to another Ouya video. Today we're going to be going over the Nintendo emulators. One of the big things on Ouya right now is the emulators and the ability to play old school console games on the Ouya. And today I'm going to be going over again the NES, the Super NES, the Nintendo 64, and I'm even going to be going over there's a Game Boy emulator. I'm going to do another video separately talking about the PS1 emulator, uh, the Sega Genesis one, and even a couple miscellaneous ones like the Atari. So that'll be in a separate video if you're looking for that, so make sure you guys subscribe. But today we're going to be going over Nintendo. I'll even show you guys some gameplay of them working, uh, some of the favorite games I like to play, and hopefully you guys learn from this and can apply this to your Ouya. Okay. And even maybe entice you to buy a Ouya. But again, this isn't, I'm, I I will even show you guys bad things about the Ouya. I'm not trying to, hey, buy this. I'm not getting paid for this at all. I just want you guys to uh, know what you can do on the Ouya. So what you want to do first is get the emulators. What you do is you go to discover on your Ouya and you're going to search for the emulators. Now, there's a link in the description to the Ouya forum page and it lists all the good emulators for each console. Um, and once, once you get that, you'll just search that by pressing Y. You'll type it in what emulator you're looking for and you'll download it. it takes about five seconds for each emulator it's really really fast and then those are gonna pop up in your play they're like apps so now you'll have your emulators again for this one we're gonna be going over the NES the Super NES the N64 and also the uh, Game Boy so once you have the emulators now you need to get your ROMs onto the Ouya now this um, it was very frustrating at first uh, there was no clear guidance on how to get your ROMs onto the Ouya. Um, it took me almost like half a day to figure out how to do it from reading forums and questions and FAQs. It took a while. I even tried putting them on a USB drive and plugging it into the Ouya, and the Ouya did not want to recognize my USB. I used two different USBs, so the Ouya was pretty uh, uh, lacking with reading USBs and being able to find a clear directory. So uh, beware when you're trying to do that with plugging USB drives in and finding your storage that was a pain in the ass so just as an FYI but what I do to get my ROMs onto the Ouya is using Dropbox now I will forewarn you guys um, I won't be saying how to get ROMs if you look in the link in the description um, on the Ouya forum page it'll talk about how to get ROMs so go check that out but I cannot say how to get ROMs in this video um, specifically if you're trying to get free ROMs because I know a lot of people look for that so once you have your ROMs on your own personal computer, which is what I'm going to assume, you need to get them on your Ouya, and I use Dropbox. So what I do is I sign up for Dropbox. It's free. It's basically free cloud storage. So what you're going to do is you're going to upload your ROMs to your Dropbox, okay? It's very simple. It's very free cloud storage. And then what you do is you go back onto your Ouya, and you're basically going to download them from Dropbox there. So you can go to Ouya, Make, Software, and then Browser. And this is basically like the Ouya's web browser. Uh, from here, I'm going to go on to Dropbox, and once I'm on Dropbox, I'm going to go over whatever ROMs that I have uploaded to my Dropbox, and I'm just going to download them, and that's how I'm getting my ROMs on my Ouya. I upload from my computer to the Dropbox, I download them from Dropbox to my Ouya using the web browser. That's the easiest way i found to do it. There are other ways, but this is just the way I prefer to do it to get my ROMs from my computer to my Ouya, all right? And you can also search for ROMs if that's your cup of tea from here, but that's how I do it. So once you have the ROMs downloaded, then you're ready to play and you can go to each emulator and check out the games that you've done. Um, some are easier to use than others. The Super the Super NES will actually, uh, it'll pick out which ones are specifically only uh, Super Nintendo ones and show you those ones. Uh, the uh, N64 one, you'll probably need to filter through every single ROM you've downloaded through a list, so you'll need to pick and choose on there. So some are easier to use than others, but pretty much to uh, my knowledge and what I've reviewed on them, they pretty much work uh, pretty much the same as the old console was. There are some glitches. I'll put up some... Pokemon Stadium footage right here. For the most part, the uh, the game did work, but a lot of the pictures and the graphics um, were lacking, uh, it, and and that could just be the ROM, it, um, my ROM that I have for that. So uh, you got to pick and choose if it's either the emulator or you think your ROM is bad. Uh, Paperboy didn't work for me, but a lot of the ones did. So Pokemon Stadium and Paperboy were the ones that really I had trouble with, but the rest uh, worked pretty good. I'll guys, I'll show you right here some um, Super Mario 64 footage. That looked really good. That ran flawlessly. Um, there's a bunch of other ones from uh, different consoles. Um, as you'll see, I'll throw up some Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct is from the Super Nintendo. Uh, my wife really likes that game. You've got Super Mario World. 
You've got um, other games such as Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Bowl is a big one. I even grabbed the Game Boy. Uh, there's a, I believe it's Pokemon Blue Edition, and I was able to play that on the Game Boy, uh, the Game Boy Color emulator, and that was pretty cool. That you can actually play Game Boy on the Ouya. But um, hope you guys enjoy. I'll put up some gameplay for you guys to watch here at the end, just so you guys can get a feel of what games you can play and what they're gonna kind of look like as far as graphical wise. So hope you guys did enjoy this. If you found it informational, hit the like. Like button. I tried to tell you guys the easiest way to get ROMs on your Ouya and kind of show you off what you can expect to play on the Ouya. Basically, any game that you played on the old console, you can uh, potentially play on the Ouya, which is a big draw for me and one of the biggest reasons I bought an Ouya. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button. If you guys are new, subscribe. Again, I'm going to be going over the PlayStation 1, the Sega Genesis, the Atari, and a couple other emulators in my next video. So I hope you guys enjoy. My name is Taz. Deuces.